you disagree on what's better, triangles, circles, or squares, or any other shape, allow internet's everything to show you the compromise. Please. This is a scalene triangle. It has none of the sides that are the same. There are all kinds of triangles. Like the scaling, here I said. And an isosceles triangle. Well, Emily has two equal sides that are the same. Yeah. Here's the an isosceles triangle with two only two equal sides. And my favorite triangle of them all. The equilateral. All three sides exactly the same. What do I? And this is the ice equilateral triangle. All three sides the same. And let's not forget our right triangle. Go. And this is my favorite And this is my other favorite, the right triangle. The right triangle is also known as a, that only has a 90 degree angle. Some of you may already know that as a right angle, see? It's theorem, the Pythagorean theorem. The legs. And it's also known as the legs, see? Oh, well, that side. No, not that kind of leg that you walk on. But le but not leg as in you walk on. But leg as in this. This. It also known as two squares that well this square here. See what I mean? See? It's the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse equals the two legs. And, by the way, we're also talking about squares. And, other, and every other quadrilateral. Some of you may already know that before as four equal sides exactly the same. Here's a square with four equal sides. <coughs> and a rectangle. May look like a square to you, but a bit longer. Hunger. Hunger. Or a bit squish. Two are long and two are short. Hunger. Oh. Ah. Let's. Let's also. 
And let's let's not forget all the other oh, quadrilaterals. Those like and let's not forget circles either. There. And here's a parallelogram. And let's not forget the rhombus. Rhombus is also well known as a digit square. It's also just a fun word to say. Rhombus. Bus. There's a rhombus. And let's not forget a trapezoid. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. Wait, what? A trapezoid is almost like a square, but well, there are only two equal sides. The other is longer than the other. And let's not forget the circle. I use this here tape roller. Well, I use this tape rule as a ruler to make sure the circle stays round and 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 round. And, round. and let's not forget all the other polygons. Some of you may already know polygons before as. It doesn't matter how many sides does the polygon have. So, oh, shapes work together. Here's an irregular polygon because none of the sides are the same. Some of you may already know irregular before as not the same. And here's an irregular polygon. Hon. Hon. Some of you may already think know that um, well, a polygon, a square with a see? Sometimes you think it's a triangle at the top of a square. See? Another And according to Battle for Dream Reality, the guns may think they're really scary. Like this. And let's not forget the hex. And in every other shape. Tape. Tape. Like this hexagon. Yes, it's like triangles. Holes. Well, six triangles put together and two travel snows stacked together to the bottom. And let's not forget Haptagon. And seven sides. The area is seven divided by four a side cod eighty degree is divided by seven. One, two, three, 
three, four, five, six, seven sides. And let's not forget the m the shape. Some of you already know that. That's the shape of the stop sign. The octagon. Yep. It's got eight equal sides. But did you know that all of the shakes work together to make anything happen? Then, then, like this triangle. Oh, and this rectangle. Oh, made this a pentagon. But if you had a, a parallelogram, which is like a rectangle, but I'm not afraid of So... You can make a rocket, and I guess that's the our lesson for today. Shapes can work together to make anything happen. To make anything happen, like And like polygons and all the rest work together. Like a stop sign, a rocket, a house, etc. Uh, and some people may dislike squares and like and, and like circles, but Some of you may know the art of a, art of a circle. Circumference over diameter. Otherwise known as pi. Pi. And some of you may already know the half of a circle. A semicircle. A semicircle is half of a circle. Put it, attach it to the bottom of a triangle. And now you got an ice cream cone. But we'll save 3D shapes for another episode. So one day, bye-bye Andrews Doers.